Hello, wonderful person, and welcome to part 3 of No Man's Sky. The game has actually been improved quite a lot, there's been a lot of patches, and the gameplay is so much better than before. This is Red Anton Planet, a planet we have just landed on, and we're going to go ahead and explore it a little bit and possibly find uh, something to destroy and something to kill and something to uh, name as well. Oh, what is that? That's a funny looking thing. Can I name it? And you should now be known as Anton Orange, because you're an orange. And this is Anton Planet. Anyway, this planet looks a lot cooler than other planets. It has a lot of really awesome Mars-like, or I guess scary Mars-like environments. And what is that? Ear, ear of fluff, fluff, light. I didn't rename this yet. And we're gonna name it later. All right, so what do we have here? And do we need something from here to advance the story? Life support system at 50%. Oh, no, is it because it's too hot here? Oh, wow, look at this beautiful environment here. Holy cow. This is very... Oh, oh, hi. What? Oh, it's you. I remember you. Uh, you seem to be present on every single planet. Anton Worm. Uh, anyway, so we're going to move around here. We're going to explore things and try to find something interesting. This is Antonica, apparently. Um, and we're also going to see if we can maybe find a way to get out of this particular um solar system because we've kind of been stuck here for a couple of hours now and i think our goal is to basically reach one of the next stars and um i don't remember or actually i don't really know how to do it just yet but there's a lot of there's a lot of um iron here maybe i'll collect that and sell it to the people in um upstairs basically in the uh in the space station, because I, I think iron and also plutonium was very, very expensive, right? Or was it just plutonium? Maybe it was just plutonium, but I'll collect this iron just in case. Um, we're gonna keep it in our bag right here. Ooh, we got a lot of iron here. And uh, let's actually see if we can maybe also construct something. I haven't really built anything in a while. And uh, what is it that I can actually build here? Let's see, we can build sheets, microdensity fabric. Uh, bypass ship. Oh, encrypted terminals and facilities. Hijacking landing pad facilities at alien outposts. Perhaps illegal. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I see how this is. Uh, well, in that case, um, hmm, interesting. Let me think about this for a second. So, what exactly do we need? What is it that I need to make uh, for me to actually get out of here? Well, I guess first, let's actually go inside these buildings here and explore them a little bit. And see if we can maybe discover something inside of them. Deflection Enhancement Tau. I can't really make that yet, but I need some titanium. What's inside this thing? Hello! Hello, plant! Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. That's actually good. Apparently, this plant is too hot for me to walk on. Uh, and there seems to be... Oh, I can sit. No, I can't. There seems to be nothing here. It's an empty looking planet. Oh, look at that! There's a guy here! Awesome! I can actually trade. This is apparently a trade station. And what is that? Ooh! Hello? Welcome to the Galactic Trade Network. Terminal boot sequence. Sell items from your inventory. Oh, finally! I can actually do that here. Alright, let's try Let's try that. Uh, shielding plate. Do I want that? I don't know. Uh, what else can you? S what else can I sell to you? Plutonium, not very profitable. Platinum, very unprofitable as well. Iron, obviously. Oh, okay, so iron is not that as expensive as I thought it would be. Uh, but plutonium is. I should be collecting more plutonium, not iron. Carbon is very cheap. Uh, thamium is somewhere in the middle, so maybe I'll collect that as well. And copper. Ooh, copper is expensive. I need to get more copper. I don't know where I actually found it, but I need to get a lot of it. All right, what else do we... Oh, actually, what can we buy here? Can you tell me what I could buy from you? And seems to be only materials, nothing else. So that's more of a material shop, I guess, than anything else. And will this guy talk to me? Or do I have to tap him on the head like I did with the other guy? Hello, how are you? Attendant Oro. I do not understand what you're saying. I have not learned your language yet. A lone creature awaits me, diminutive, beaked, unthreatening. It regards me with passing curiosity, chatters briefly in a language I cannot comprehend, then passes me a slate. With a start, I realize that I can understand the text on it. 
In disbelief, I try to catch the creature's eye, but it has already turned away in disinterest. I suspect it's a mere courier, not the author of this message. The slate also contains a blueprint for a new technology, a hyperdrive. I think we got what we were looking for. Oh, jeez. Why were you so angry? Okay, so I can now build a hyperdrive. To build a hyperdrive, I need dynamic resonator and heridium. I do not know where to get either one of these. What is dynamic resonator? Do you have that here for sale? Oh wait, I need 20 carbon to talk to him, right? That's my new mission. Um, build hyperdrive and fuel the hyperdrive. Can I buy a dynamic resonator from you? Is there a dynamic resonator? There's heridium, but it's kind of expensive. I can probably find it somewhere. But dynamic resonator is not here. How do I build one? Can we build one? Can we build one here? Can we build one on a starship? Is it a thing we can build yet? No. We can't build any dynamic resonators. All right, well, that's not good. Uh, but thanks for the for the thingy, for the, you know, for the hyperdrive. That's very useful. Oh, hey, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. In a Star Wars like ship. Talk to me. Oh, really? Space station detected? No, 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 come on. No, no, no. Met two aliens. I met another alien. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? My name is Anton. I'm from Anton Planet. Let's talk to you now. Oh, look at you. Oh, I've seen you before, actually. I guess I guess it counts as a second alien or something. Uh, how much do you want for your spaceship, young sir? Or possibly madam? Apparently quite a lot. I do like your Star Wars style, though. Uh, do you have a dynamic resonator for me, young sir or madam? Give me, give me a thing. Give me, the, give me the thing. Buy item from relay form. No dynamic resonator, I see. No dynamic resonator. Oh, hey, it's right here. Thirty-three thousand. Yeah, that's nothing. I'll buy it. I'll buy that. Now we just have to find that other thing. Uh, let's maybe sell something to him that we don't need or want and we don't have anything that we don't need uh, why do you not want this take this take the Corvax casing I don't want it take the Omegon or Murini okay fine be as you are well we've got at least half of the things we came here for or actually two things the, the uh, dynamic resonator and also the plans for the hyperdrive. Now we have to find the... What's it called again? I forgot what it's called. Oh, I can actually build the hyperdrive now. It says return to your spacecraft. Travel to space station. All right, well, let's do that. I think that's my next mission. Um, I don't really need to look for the material just yet. I don't think this planet actually has any. Because it seems like this is just an iron planet. It has a lot of iron on it. Not so much anything else. And if I scan this planet, I seem to see mostly... Mostly... Zinc. Oh, Thamium. I'll take that. Uh, thamium is important. I think. From what I remember. It was hard to come by. Oh, look at that. I found Titanium. Wow, that's a lot of Titanium. Let's take all of it. No... No, I want titanium. Give it to me. Let's uh, maybe put this in a spaceship. And this as well. Oh, did I just destroy it for no reason? It looks like it. Oh, well, that was silly. All right, so that's all titanium. And this is going to be really, really expensive, I think. I'm going to actually go and uh, maybe sell it. Because I don't know if I can actually use anything yet. Or I, I don't think I can build anything with it yet. But this is going to be a lot of money. This is all money. Oh yeah, lots and lots of money. And now let's go and try to sell that titanium to whoever this guy is. Hello, sir. And, oh, you're cute. You're a rat. And we're gonna sell this to you. Hopefully you'll take it for a lot of money. Let's see how much we make from all the titanium we just collected. Ooh, it's 1% extra. And sell for, ooh, 31,000 units. That's awesome. Yeah, excellent. That was actually the easiest money I've made so far. Because it was, it was like literally right there somewhere. 
All right, so maybe this planet is actually not too bad to make money because there is, if there's titanium here, I could just sell that and then basically come back and collect more, which sounds like a, like a good profitable way of making money, right? What is that? Is that something? That's nothing. That is nothing. But that yellow thing right there is titanium. There's a new spacecraft that just arrived. And it looks like there's no more titanium I can see, at least in the vicinity. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, return to my spaceship. But I also just saw some kind of a really cool looking cave on the way. So we're going to go explore that as well. Because you know what? This game is all about exploration. It's all about finding new things. A lot of things in here are completely um, procedurally generated. And look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is super cool. What is this place? Oh. Oh, okay, that's good, right? All right, iron. What are these things? These things are awesome. Let's kill them. Okay, they don't want to be killed. Uh, this is kind of creepy. Right? A little bit creepy, maybe? It's like a cave filled with awesomeness. And iron. A lot of iron. Okay, well, is that it? Is there nothing else here? What? What's that... Uh, what is that? Nothing. That's nothing. Okay, moving on. Let's find the exit. That was a beautiful cave though. Very beautiful cavern. But uh, yeah, it really has nothing in it. Hey, what was that? I just saw something. Oh, I jumped out of this cave into... Is that titanium? Is that titanium? Are you titanium? You're something. Gold? Gold? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll listen. I'll, I'll, I'll play your game. Wow. That's new. So, I hope it's as va valuable as it is on, on our planet. So, let's, uh, let's collect as much of it as we can. Okay, so it doesn't collect as well as the other material. I'm only getting like very, very little of it, even though I'm pretty much destroying like everything. So I guess gold might be very, very valuable. Is it? Does it say how much it is? Uh, total value 22,000 units. Well, I'm going to collect this for a little bit. And you don't have to really watch me do it. But uh, I am going to try to basically collect as much as I can so I can sell this later. And get a better, bigger, more beautiful spaceship. Because that's all I want to do right now. I want to get a, a hyperdrive and I want to get a better spaceship. I'm just going to buy one of those Star Wars looking spacecraft from, from the aliens. And feel like Luke Skywalker exploring the galaxy. Alright, well this is getting a little bit uh, boring. I haven't really collected as much as I wanted to. It's really only worth about 49,000. Uh, Let's just get it to 50,000. Um, and this is taking way too long. I think titanium was way, way, way faster and it was kind of more fun as well. So we're going to just uh, go to our spacecraft and uh, possibly just escape from here. But this planet seems to be a pretty good way of making money because it has a lot of metal. Even though it's super hot here, so it is kind of d difficult to stay alive, I guess, or stay um, cooled down for a long time. This kind of reminds me of that planet from... Um, uh, from the Solus Project. The super, super hot planet that then suddenly turns super cold. But it, it does look as hostile and as unfriendly as the planet from the Solus Project. What is that? Is that a metal? Is that something? I think that's something right there. That blue thingy. Let's go check it out. I think that's some sort of material. Possibly something I need. Oh, that's iridium. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Okay, let's collect some of that stuff. All right, so that's enough iridium for now. We collected a whole batch of it, and I think it actually does cost quite a lot. Oh, maybe it doesn't. But I think we needed it for something. Didn't we need it for uh, hyperdrive? Or maybe not? I remember hearing about iridium. Um, we'll find out in a second. We're going to go to the space station, and I think we that's where we install our, um, our hyperdrive. I also need to get out of this planet because it's getting a little bit too uncomfortable. My life bar is actually very, very, very low. Now, I still don't really know what happens if you die, but I'm guessing nothing good. That is really cool. Look at that. 
kind of gooey and, and disgusting, but awesome. Uh, yeah. Back to the spacecraft! And now back to space. Not enough fuel. Not enough fuel? What are you talking about, not enough fuel? I guess I don't have enough fuel. Uh, what do I use to recharge? Plutonium? No, oh, I need more plutonium. I can only use plutonium. Can I launch with this what I have right now? Not enough fuel. Okay, I need to go find some fuel, I guess. Oh, and here we go. There's plutonium right here. Give it to me. Give me everything you have. That was very convenient. It was right next to my spacecraft. Okay, is that going to be enough? Where's my plutonium? Uh, plutonium. Maybe, maybe not. Let's get some more just in case. Oh, I found an animal. I found an animal. Come back. Come back. I'm going to scan you. Wait, go away. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, no. I'm in a cave. I'm in a cave. I'm in a cave. It's trying to attack me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's screaming. Why is it screaming? Oh, jeez. That was interesting. What are you? Some sort of a hyena. I hear another one. Hi. How, what's going on? I'm so, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Please don't attack me. Okay. Let's reload this. And yeah. So what about that? Turns out there's animals here. Hostile animals. Let's name it. Let's name it something. This is actually the first animal we've discovered. Oh, it's so pretty. Asymmetric gender. It's a stalker. 70 kilos. That's that's pretty heavy. Let's name it... Uh, Antoyina. Like hyena, but with ant on it. All right. So we've discovered uh, our first predator. This is a stalker predator. Or I guess it discovered us, to be honest. It seems to have found us not the other way around. Okay, so what I actually was looking for was energy, but I want to see carbon. I don't see any more plutonium anywhere. Uh-oh. Run back to the ship. Run back to the ship. Let's get out of here. I think this is enough plutonium for us to fly away. We're going to um, try to take off and fly. Oh, yeah, it worked. It totally worked. Uh, and fly away from here. Oh, there's water. I didn't know there was water. And I guess what we're going to do is go to that next space station that we've, we've just discovered. It was somewhere right here, maybe. Is that it? I hope that's it. I'll fly to the space station. All right, so we're, we're going to take uh, about 20 seconds to get there here. And I think after this, we'll be able to use our hyperdrive, which means we can actually travel between stars. Now, I haven't explored all of the planets here. And I may actually do that. I'm not sure if I will yet, but I do want to try my hyperspace drive um, just to see what it actually looks like and what it does. Uh, and here we go. Almost there. Almost there. So close. Well, and unfortunately, my game crashed. You know that thing that everyone's saying about game not being stable and crashing, people complaining about uh, No Man's Sky not being optimized for the computer? It happened to me. And unfortunately, I lost some of the, I guess, more fun footage where I was essentially... Um, uh, well, I get my uh, hyperspace drive and then I land on this beautiful, beautiful planet that you see in front of you. I also got to explore that little monolith right there, which apparently was an underwater monolith that taught me the word... Uh, alien word that was really not that fun actually not that important but there was actually an underwater creature there let's go check them out again I'll show you what you've missed but the important thing here is that we now have our beautiful and amazing uh, hyperdrive hyperdrive there you go it uses warp cells to um, go between different stars and you get to those stars by pressing M button when you're in space unfortunately it doesn't work on land but to make one of these things, to make one of the warp cells, what you need to do is, well, you need antimatter. And here's when and it becomes really, really, really convoluted. So warp cells require antimatter. And then I had to go inside a factory and uh, collect a schematic for antimatter. And basically I did that. And now it turns out that to make antimatter, I need electron vapor. All right, well, that's cool, that's cool. Electron vapor, they require suspension fluid. Okay, how do you get suspension fluid? I have no idea. Uh, so it seems like 
one of the items requires another item to be created, and then that item requires another item to be created, and then you, it goes in a circle. And it, but the game did tell me that I can actually just buy them in some of the space stations. So I might as well go and do that. But before I do, let me just show you this amazing, incredible planet. This is actually my favorite new planet. Very, very beautiful. It has these amazing mushrooms. Really cool looking um, plants and stuff. I haven't really named anything yet, but I just wanted to show you some of the beauty that this particular planet has. And also show you some of the underwater animals I've discovered. Um, there's one in there that actually is a carnivore. And also this particular floor gives me uh, health. I think. Oh, I thought it was going to remove my toxicity, but it didn't. And uh, so the plan is about to have night, but what I wanted to show you is... Where are you, fish? There's one right there, I think. Uh, there's these really cool uh, fish here that are... Uh, they're very big, and they're scary, and they attack people, and they attack me, and then I named them Anton Fish, because why not? Uh, but the underwater world on this planet is absolutely incredible. I just actually wanted to come and show you what I've discovered. This is actually, of all the planets that, uh, from the lost footage, this was the most incredible one, which is why I wanted to actually show it to you again. And look at that, there's a tiny fish here. They're kind of friendly, they're okay. But then there's these big fish. Uh, this is also really cool, look at those effects. Uh, there's also these really, 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 really big fish that I've killed two of them, actually. Um, I don't know where they are. Maybe I've killed all of them. Maybe they're extinct now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But they basically look like this. If you go into the animal thingy majiggy Oh, I've discovered the both thingy. I don't know what that is. Uh, they basically... Oh, that's that's the small fish. That's the friendly one. But that's the, that's the scary fish. It's about two meters long. It's pretty big. It looks like a big worm. And they attack people. But this is actually so beautiful. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this a lot. I know people are complaining that, you know, the game is still not optimized. It still sort of feels like a disappointment. It still is not the perfect game they wanted. I didn't expect a perfect game. I actually didn't really care much for a perfect game. I wanted something to explore. I wanted something to discover things in. And I got just that. Um, and yes, the game crashed. And yes, I lost like half an hour of footage. And that's fine. I forgive it. I'm a forgiving person. I'm gonna go into my spacecraft and fly away now. Uh, because now I have to actually figure out how to collect those suspension thin majiggies fluids to to be able to essentially create um, antimatter that then will, will create the cells that I need to use um, in moving around the stars. Now before I actually finish this video, I actually wanted to show you two things. One was um, the star map if you haven't seen this in this game yet. I also need to start collecting zinc because it's part of the, um, it's one of the requirements to construct those antimatter Uh And let me see if I can actually find something else here. This game, uh, this planet also has a lot of beautiful caves. Uh, this is actually one of them. Such a beautiful, such a beautiful cave. Uh, just a game in general, I guess. Look at this beauty. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's fly out of here. Um, now, this, uh, this particular video was supposed to be much, much longer, but unfortunately, I, I'm going to have to cut it short. Ooh, gold! This is gold, this is gold, this is gold. Gold is awesome. Gold is expensive. Um, I'm gonna cut it short, mostly because I've lost so much footage, and I'm kind of upset. But you know what? That was my fault. I should have been more careful. I should have been saving in between. I should have been... I don't know. I should have been doing stuff. Carbon. I don't need carbon. I need gold. Alright, that's good enough. And uh, maybe in the next part, what we're going to do is... Well, we're, first of all, I think we're going to go to the new system. Uh, oh, yeah, it says basic ingredient suspension fluid can be bought from galactic trade terminals. There's one in one of the nearest space stations. Uh, but, yeah, what we're going to do is basically go to the new system. You get to see what uh, space travel looks like. Or maybe... I, will I be able to construct one of these things now? Can I build... Do I have enough stuff? I have enough plutonium. I don't have enough zinc, though. Let me see if I can make find more zinc, and then what we'll do is we'll make one, and um, we'll go somewhere else. We'll just fly to another planet or another star system. Well, I just have to find zinc. Okay, so that should be enough zinc for now. Uh, we can now get out of here and try to make one more warp cell. Ooh, okay, what is that? 
This wasn't here before. I think this just respawned. This was definitely not here before. What is all this energy? Where did this come from? Cool. I guess things do appear here out of nowhere. Oh, maybe I just didn't see it. All right. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, what do I not need? We don't need thallium. Plutonium can go in there too. Power canister. Nothing found. Nothing found. Oh, plutonium. And what's inside this? Corvax word for convergence. I think Corvax are the aliens in the system. Uh, and I think they're actually robots. Because the first one I've met was a robot. So there's that as well. We have robotic, uh, robotic aliens in this game. Alright, so I guess that's it. Nothing else here? There's a question mark there, but that's okay. Okay, so let's get out. Let's go to the space station. See if we can build a warp drive, or a warp, warp cell. And using that, let's see if we can get out of here. And here comes the new plant we haven't discovered yet, and also a new space station that I think I haven't been to. Let's go there, let's check it out. Uh, hopefully be able to buy that suspension fluid, whatever it's called. And uh, construct a warp cell. I think I have all the required materials. I have just enough zinc, I have just enough plutonium. And I have just enough everything else to construct a cell to go to the next system. Now this planet actually does look kind of interesting, so I do want to visit it, but maybe we'll do this some other day. Or possibly never. Oh, wait a second. This is like an Earth-like planet. Whoa, what's happened to my ship? Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, there's two planets. Uh, yeah, this one looks very Earth-like. At least from the outside. And here we go. Now, as you may have uh, realized by now, all the stations in this game look exactly the same. If you've been to one, you've been to the most. So I'm going to skip uh, most of this for the most part. Although that spacecraft that just landed looks kind of cool. Turn around. Show me the spacecraft. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. I want to see that. This is a cool looking owl like spacecraft. Oh, maybe that is from the back. From the front, it looks. Uh, oh, science entity? From the front it looks pretty cool too. Oh, look at this guy. He's cool. So I think this is the robotic race called Corvax. Uh, how much is your ship? Your ship is very expensive. And how much is your stuff you're selling? Do you sell anything that I need? So he does have suspension fluid, but it's actually surprisingly expensive. So maybe I won't buy it. Titanium. Uh, wow, this is really expensive. Maybe I can sell that to him. So here, take my gold, sir. Also, you can take some of my aluminum, which I don't need right now. And you, Mr. Robot, from the other universe, uh, can you please talk to me? Carbon required. Okay, I can just collect this. That's how you do it. I just recently figured out that there's a lot, a lot of carbon laying around, so I can just take it and sell it back to him. Here we go. All right, sir. Hello, how are you? Welcome. And uh, yes, yes, thank you. He's actually, he taught me like two words. One of them was like danger or something. Uh, request shield recharge. Oh. Okay. He recharged my shield for free? Oh, that's awesome. I guess I'm kind of friendlier with them now. Uh, oh yeah, but the reason I came here is this. No, not this. Where is the, yeah, there, that thing. This is a trade terminal, about which I've discovered, uh, or didn't know before, but I discovered them recently. So here I can actually sell my items, the ones that I don't really need, like such as, for example, okay, none of these, ha. Huh. Or I can also buy stuff. And the suspension fluid here is just as expensive as from that other guy. So might as well just do it here. Received one of them. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and make a warp cell. So let's go into spacecraft. Uh, take this away from now. Construct a electron vapor using suspension fluid. So build one. And now construct antimatter. And now construct warp cell. Wow, this takes a lot of time. And now 
warp cell, it goes into hyperdrive. This is really, really uh, complicated. This is a multi-step process, which I don't know if it needs to be so complicated. Uh, all right, so let's recharge our life support with carbon. And uh, so now, so now we can basically go travel. We can go to a new system. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before we finish this video. Uh, but I actually think there is um, there was a navigation beacon that told me there is some point of interest somewhere. Let's see if we can find it again. Nope, unfortunately, it's gone. I think it's gone. There definitely was a point of interest saying that you know it's one of those booster things that helps you discover uh, new locations or new monoliths. But that's okay. So I'm gonna press M, and this is where the star map mode mode begins. So a really, really, really complex system of like billions and trillions and gazillions of stars. Um, you can actually move across all of this, and you can literally select any star you want. But the thing is, you won't be able to jump there because it's too far away. Uh, but I think your goal is to get to the center of the universe. In this case, it's not a galaxy, apparently. It's actually several galaxies, and this is technically the game's universe. Um, I don't really know exactly where this is leading me, but there is like a little pathway it made for me. And the thing is, as soon as I jumped from my old system, my original Anton system, it sort of disappeared. I, I don't think I can go back anymore. So, I think... Oh, actually, maybe it's somewhere here. Where is it? Is it here? Okay, it's definitely somewhere here, but I don't see it anymore. I totally lost it. I totally, totally lost it. So we are here. But, yeah, I don't really know where I came from. So it looks like we're not going to be going back to Anton's system. And you know what? I'm not really missing it very much. We're going to go to here instead. Um, but yeah, Anton's system was fun, but the thing about it was that everything in it didn't look as good. But there you go. So this is the interplanetary, uh, sorry, interstellar travel. This is what it looks like. It's basically about 20 seconds of this, with very, very, very loud noises, very loud music, and then you end up in a completely new procedural generated system. So I think what's happening right now is that the game is actually procedurally generating all of the planets and all of the um, aliens, all of the spacecraft, and oh my God, no, boom, and that as well. So this is a new system called Nimbus Toran, and I am in it. And this is a very different space station, actually. Um, let's scan it. Alien monolith detected. Where? 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 I see it. Where? All right, so that's it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish this video right at the monolith. We're going to go and... Um, Basically, collect the monolith, or open the monolith, possibly learn some sort of a new word. And from there, we're going to basically go on an exploration trip, because we now can travel across the galaxy. We can now basically collect everything we need to collect, but we still don't really know what's going on. We don't really know what's happening in this game, other than that there's a lot of aliens and a lot of different planets to land on. I know there's a storyline, I know there's some sort of mystery going on, but we don't really know much about it, or at least I don't. You probably do, because you may have watched some other videos. I avoided them like a plague. I made sure that I don't get spoiled by anything. And I was really good at it. So I am totally ignorant when it comes to this game. Which is why I love it so much, because I didn't expect it to be anything. And it is pretty cool. So let's land on this new planet. We're going to name this Anton 3. Because this is the third first planet that I land on. In other words, it's my third home. And this one looks surprisingly empty. Surprisingly nothing here here. Absolutely nothing here. Or maybe I'm just judging it too early. Maybe it hasn't really been procedurally generated just yet. Oh, never mind. There it is. There's like stuff on the bottom there. And let's land somewhere close. Atlas, find us, hear us. Okay, I'm finding you, I'm hearing you. That's interesting. Something's talking to me. Um, parched planet. This is part of Euclid Galaxy. This is actually where we started the game. Okay, so, is this what I'm looking for? No. What is this, though? 
some sort of a plant. Cool. It's shiny. What is this? Nothing. What is this? What is this? Yo, no, really, what is that? Oh, that's plutonium. Ha, ah, never mind. So here is that monolith. This is actually something I haven't seen before, or I guess maybe you too, if you haven't really been watching any videos. Uh, this is going to be my first... Okay, I see an animal too. My first experience with this kind of a monolith. That looks like a predator. Are you a predator? No, you're timid herbivore. Ha, huh, interesting. Um, oh, there's something else there. There's a lot of animals on this planet. Symmetric, elderly, timid herbivore. So, let's go open this up. And we're going to pause this video here. And my apologies again for basically ruining like half of the video by accident, kind of. And I guess there's a new alien species called Viking on this particular... Um, in this particular solar system. I don't know why I'm learning these words, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. I don't think I'll ever be able to learn all of the words. And so far, it really hasn't helped me at all. But this is all new. Whatever this is, this is new. Do I open this? What do you mean it's full? From what? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's happening? What is going to happen? The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here, neither do I. There's a shimmer and then the vision of the red orb returns. The Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel the half elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning. Significance of an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Believe the Atlas promise. I see lines of code, strings of numbers, then a bizarre structure. I feel sure conviction that great power awaits me if I travel to this distant place. The red orb disappears and I'm left with a path to follow. Alright. Ooh, I got a warp cell. Free warp cell? Amazing. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Let's transfer to the ship. Let's recharge our drive. That saved me a lot of time. Because I don't think I will be collecting much stuff here. And this thing is moving. Nothing there. Alright then, so... Now what? I guess that's it. Well, let's pause this video here. We're gonna continue this in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. I hear a cat. And as always... Bye-bye.